actually been over a month now since I got back to Vancouver from the Philippines and my trip to Korea, so in Asia in general. Uh, as soon as I landed here in uh, Vancouver, about two weeks, uh, I did get a tattoo because it was, it was planned because I was going to take a, a few weeks off. So I did uh, get a tattoo. It was one of my bigger pieces. Uh, that one took, was a two session tattoo and it took, uh, yeah, oh, about eight hours, eight to nine hours of uh, ses a session. Uh, it wasn't too painful except the end of the shoulder around the rear delts. That's where it hurt the most. But overall pain for that would be a three out of 10, except for the rear delts area. Um, recovery was actually one of the best because I didn't actually work out, nor did I um, work out the day before, the day of, and I took a week off just to recover. So that was one of the easiest tattoos I've done so far. And tattoo plans going forward, this area, the hand area, going into my shoulder, my shoulder, my left, my whole left side, that's where I plan to get most of my tattoos and I'm gonna chill for a bit. But this was uh, really planned out for a while. I, I didn't get too many tattoos last year. Did I even get it? I can't remember, there's a bit. But goal for maybe next year or end of this year is uh, half a sleeve and then build out the hands. I do enjoy tattoos. Uh, I just don't show them as much. Yeah, so being back in Vancouver is really good. I've been enjoying, uh, just catching up with friends. I'm enjoying the food actually. You guys don't know, Vancouver has really good food, lots of cultures. With that, what's new as well, I, I just spoke for the month. I was a bit busy to vlog this Vancouver log. Um, I'm excited since it's gonna be a new series, like a Vancouver log. Summer is approaching and summer in Vancouver is one of the best. I tell people all the time, my international friends, that come, come to Vancouver during summer, you won't regret it at all. So I'm excited, that's the reason why as well as, as, as to why I wanted to heal this tattoo as fast as possible so that you can put it under the sun where you're not supposed to. Golden hour time, but we're gonna be running in a bit. We're running the same trail that we found two days ago and we're just rerunning it so I can memorize the route. Then I don't have to rely on navigation, but yeah. That's what we're doing right now. Heart rate's at 120. I've been pushing uh, zone two <laughs> too much, you know, zone three. But we're just gonna, it's an easy run. So that's why I'm vlogging. So I'm able to maintain conversation. But look at the nature. So yeah. Uh, we're trying to finish this before sunset and then we're gonna head out to go back and eat eat dinner and just like chill but i think there's the difference with again i talked about it before like with philippines and here is that i'm able to find like routes like this and just do them so i'm gonna get back to running but same route wearing uh the with the Clifton Nines, Hoka's. I haven't gotten to try the on Cow Monsters yet, but we are officially almost four months into running. So yeah, mile two. But dealing with being a beginner and running, it's actually super fun. There's like a big community around it. But wait, let me just cross safe. We're safe. There's a big community around it. And then you also, it's good to build momentum by doing like easy runs. Even if you have to walk, which I had to do in the beginning. But seeing the progress now, even though it's slow, it's really cool. We are on a new trail. I'm just gonna double check to make sure we're going the right one. but I feel fine. So, do you want to find
Try to step up using your feet. Nice, okay. Nice. Okay, nice. Dude. It's easier if you use feet, but it's okay. You're strong. Nice. That was sick. For the camera. For the Oh, I just did one. shoot uh, it was just a few videos but this is usually the kind of uh, clothes that I wear when I am doing freelance work usually all black because all videographers and photographers like to wear black it's a simple jacket and then my New Balance no not New Balance ASICS shoes that I got from Korea too almost all of this except the pants were were bought in Korea uh, this one's uh, from Oakenfort um, I forgot what exactly it is called, but I'm not sure if they sell it anymore. But yeah, this is the top. It's wearing outside, and of course, when I'm in the client with the client, I'm, I'm like trying to be comfortable. So it's a bit more professional, but not too over the top professional. Uh, yeah, I just want to prioritize being comfortable and also looking professional. But my foot was hurting a little bit. Uh, which we'll talk about with the running portion in this video uh, but so I'm considering just wearing my boosts um, this is like ortho this is actually very comfortable even if it does look extra but yeah trying to up my um, trying to up my outfit outfits and fashion game this year especially because I feel like you can't uh, you're not supposed to be lacking with like what you wear, especially if you're carrying yourself as a professional um, anywhere you go. But and then if it's like running gun uh, type of shoots, I would prefer to wear my my running shoes, Cloud Monster. But I did a video on this already before, so you guys should check that out. Also, if you guys didn't know, we do read quite a bit of books. Uh, this is part of the. Uh, behind the tapes episode one what I bought with my first hundred dollars is a couple books um, So just finish this but we're gonna reread it some of these books and just rewrite the highlights into the tracker that we have uh, But also for the creative genre and just like not not to self-help productivity books uh, this one creative act uh, a way of being by Rick Rubin gonna read this I, I've been putting it off for so long now but now that we have a lot of time because we have launched the digital product 
We also have these two books that I'm going to read as well. Um, they're more about advertising. Uh, David Ogilvy and Hudson Hopkins. So, yeah, also I'm going to start, I'm going to do book hauls soon once I do visit downtown. Back to Vancouver, uh, one of the exciting things, actually it's exciting to me, but to a lot of people it's boring, was just being able to get back into a routine. Um, I talk about it actually, post, like, it's all time blocked anyways. Get back into the routine, and then now just develop it and iterate over time. Um, yeah, It's just finding like time to do stuff which is what is difficult in the beginning and just being realistic with what you do. So being back to Vancouver, um, I'm able to settle more because in, I'm, I was also able to do a routine in the Philippines. In Korea though, it was very uh, guns blazing, just like get content, film content, or make connections and do this and do that. And that was fun. It's good to have those seasons, but now it's really good to dial in, um, build out the studio, I am trying to create a studio here of some sort. Um, and then just, you know, create content. And like, the best part about having the time block is that I know when I'm creating content. I know when I'm gonna be scripting out stuff. I know when I'm gonna be doing thumbnails. So then I have time to do freelance stuff as well, build products that I enjoy building and then just, you know, have fun with it. But I don't know, just being back, it's actually a double-edged sword being in Vancouver. It's rainy most of the time. Um, uh, and then it's good to be just inside and then you just want to be productive. But then <laughs> you become depressed. Nah, not that, but you're not able to... Um, for example, like if I'm filming and it's cloudy, it's just, it just looks sad sometimes. But now that I'm... But now it's actually summer and it's actually a bit sunny. Uh, we're able to uh, we're able to grab uh, the kind of footage we want. Um, just yeah. But right now, if I can describe the season I'm in, it feels honestly like 2021 to me. It's just the start of the build, and I just know it's gonna get more hectic. Or yeah, just more hectic from here on out and I'm really down for it. Um, but what I did with my first month being back here was just have fun with my friends, went to a carnival, just hanged out. It was, it was actually really fun to socialize again. <laughs> Sounds like I'm not social, but I, I do socialize. Um, but also now is the time, like this upcoming few weeks, months, is the time to actually um, get ready for like, a lot of um, work in general and that's part of it that's part of growing as a as a business as an entrepreneur as a freelancer and also grow creatively um, I feel like with my time in the Philippines I was a bit limited with uh, it's, it's, it's mainly an excuse but not really um, I had to fulfill obligations so um, there was that priority but now I'm able to do do a little bit more creative work uh, on top of the business that I'm doing. So I'm excited balancing that out. And again, it's um, feeling like 2021. That's when I was actually, that's when I started working um, on like the first company I worked with. More on that story soon. Um, but now that I'm doing this on my own, yeah, I'm just excited. 
figuring things a lot out, figuring, th figuring things out, especially with creating content here in Vancouver. Honestly, I don't even know what the content landscape is here in Vancouver, but I'm excited. Uh, finally able to do this. Thank you.